The notation is always important. The word notation just means how we write something. An absolute value is written with two vertical bars. So if we wanted to write the absolute value of 5, we would put the number 5 in between these two vertical bars, like this. And this would be read the absolute value of 5. Or we could say the absolute value of x, or the absolute value of anything. And it would be written as uh, in between those two vertical bars. Now in these examples, we're told to simplify the following. So we'll start here. And pay attention to these examples. A lot of people get tripped up and confused with the absolute value signs and with the negative numbers. So pay attention to these examples and to the next set of examples that comes after this. Well, this first one's really easy, uh, really trivial. The absolute value of 3 is simply how far the number 3 is from the origin. And that's simply 3 units away. The absolute value of negative 3 is also 3, because it is also 3 units away from 0. The absolute value of negative 155 is 155. Sometimes you can think of the absolute value as being the positive of a number. And that's not a bad way to think of it. Just realize that it's really defined as the distance from the origin. In this one, take note that the negative sign is outside my absolute value bars. So this is the negative of or the opposite of this, the absolute value of 7. So the absolute value of 7 is 7 and we have the negative of that. So we have negative 7. Because this absolute value sign is outside the absolute value bars, it stays around. It doesn't get erased by the absolute value bars. In this last example here, this negative sign inside the absolute value bars does get removed by the absolute value bars, but this one out here doesn't. Think of this as the negative or the opposite of this. And what is this? This is the absolute value of negative 7. And the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. And what we have here is the negative of that. So this is negative 7. I'm going to say that again because a lot of people get confused at that point. Think about this absolute value sign and what's inside there. It's the absolute value of this, negative 7. And the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. So you can replace, either writing on paper or just in your mind, replace the absolute value of negative 7 with positive 7. So now you have the negative of that, the negative of 7, or the opposite of 7, for an answer of negative 7.